Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. It's Monica. And Kevin. With Kids Vid for my journey to a happier, healthier me. I haven't been filming it all week because I've been busy creating. So if you watch my videos and you saw the things that I created, you see why. I have been keeping with my, of course, vegan and gluten-free journey. I am on... I'm not sure what day of gluten-free now. I have no idea. But it's been so lovely. I must it's say. been I think it's 13 or 14 months almost of vegan. Yeah, so I have some products to show you because we went shopping at the Big Carrot. Okay. For those of you who live in Toronto, you definitely know what the Carrot Common is. If you are, um, like, into Whole Foods and... Oh, it's not actually... I don't know. Something's glaring there. But anyway. Um... You know where it is? It's at like Chester and Danforth and it's this little, almost like a little village and it goes in from the stores so that you know that you're actually in the Carrot Common and the main grocery store is called the Big Carrot. So, okay, first of all, looking for things that are vegan in this store, extremely easy. Looking for things that are gluten free, not so easy. No, it's not. It's looking for a combination of the two. That's hard. Yeah, because it's either gluten-free stuff. Yeah, but then it's not vegan because it's got eggs or it's got um, butter or something. And then, um, yeah, I was a little, I was a little emotional yesterday. Just put it that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is what we saw as soon as we came in the store, and Kevin pointed it out because I was on the hunt for granola to make some parfait. Because I told you guys about my almond yogurt, and I didn't show it to you. So, here it is. You see that? Amand. This stuff is heavenly. So, for those of you who are vegan and who have been craving yogurt, not only can you try, like, the tofuti and all of those, um, there's soy gurt, there's oh, all yeah, kinds of those. But now you can try this one, and it comes in a couple of different flavors. In the big ones so far that we've only found is the natural and this one which is vanilla in the small containers there was cherry blueberry strawberry and then the vanilla and the plain um yeah so that was how much is that 319 i don't know it's 319 i'm pretty sure it's not too expensive actually for a big container like that and this here okay this is the one that we found and then i tried to find other ones just to like price compare and everything cuz this was like 6 something 639 for this okay and the only thing in it is quinoa, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, agave nectar, sunflower oil, apple juice, sweetened cranberries, and cinnamon. Does that not sound lovely? To me it does anyway. So it's organic, gluten-free, no added nuts, dairy-free, source of fiber, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives, no trans fats, vegan, and low sodium. Okay? So there you go. This stuff I highly recommend. So it was, like I said, it was on sale though. So I don't know what the regular price is. Do you know? I think we say about like a dollar thirty. Yeah, so, so it's probably, probably like eight bucks, eight maybe bucks. more. So worth it, because I've already had it twice. And what I do is put a little bit of this yogurt in the bowl, and then put this, and then I put some strawberries. Okay. I didn't like it. I love it. That's all that matters. He says regular yogurt all the time. So, and this is 100% dairy-free cream cheese. It's called cheese. I'm not sure if I showed this, so that's why we're showing it. I don't think we did. So as you can see, it's made in Scotland, and it is imported, obviously. This cost, I actually can't remember how much this cost, because this was from the last time that we went, but it's no hydrogenated fat, cholesterol-free, lactose-free, gluten-free, and it is sourced as non-GMO. Oh, and this is non-GMO as well. Um... We also got Nigari Tofu. Now, I've told you about the gentleman. If you can, I'll go up close. See that? Ying Ying Soy Food. He is in St. Lawrence Market. And this is homemade tofu. So he makes it himself. It's non GMO certified organic soybean filtered water and Nigari. That's and it, it. It's nice and firm, too. Oh, it's lovely. So, honestly, I'm making a stew tomorrow. We're actually right now boiling the stock for it. So I put celery, carrots, onions, garlic, broccoli, and we used the corn water that we boiled the corn in, and then we also had steamed broccoli, and I threw that in. Oh, we forgot the corn cobs. We threw that out by accident. Yeah, he forgot about that. 
a little bit of salt and pepper, and some Greek seasoning. Then I bought this because what did I tell you guys the other day that soy sauce is like a killer for gluten free and you really don't think about it because it's just something that you would throw on your rice. But guess what? I was paying the price for having some soy sauce the other day. So I got this now. Liquid soy seasoning, brag all purpose. And right there. Gluten free. This was only three something as well. Three nineteen and it's non GMO right there. So that's that product. And then what Kevin was just drinking, these are delicious. Oh my god, these were two ninety nine. Kind of expensive when you think about comparing it to other juices, but the fact that it's a hundred percent juice, the only ingredient the fruit. One hundred percent Florida grapefruit, my friends. So that is grapefruit juice by Natalie's. These are awesome. I'm really um hoping that the more and more that I do product review, maybe I can actually get some from the company. That would be great. So look out for emails from me. And then this we have showed before all kinds of products from Sweets from the Earth. Gluten free. And then down here you've got dairy and egg free, cholesterol free, and lactose free. So this is, can you read that? Gluten free chocolate cake. And I'm going to open it because I already had some this morning. And it's not big, but it is heavenly. So there you go. I cut it into six pieces, so that's two for each of us. And I'm telling you right now, for those of us who are vegan and gluten free, this it's is really good. It's heaven. Kevin wanted to get the spiced carrot cake. But that one's not gluten free. It's not gluten free, but it's really, really good. If you come across it, uh, Sweets from the Earth, spiced carrot cake, I highly recommend it. And Monica recommends it too, even though she doesn't eat it anymore. Yeah, it's like seriously good. So, um, what else? I don't know. Tuesday, Kevin and I celebrated our third year oh, anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you have to show them that you got me. I haven't showed it yet. Oh my. Okay, so you guys know my little chocolate thing that I have, right? Like, I have to get chocolate every once in a while because, you know, that's me. Especially when Tom is around, I need chocolate. I will chop your head off if I don't get some chocolate up in here. So, he buys me all these little bricks all the time, and they're like, you know, pretty good. They're like 12 bucks, and he gets them for his little employee discount, so that's even better. But, can you see that in the background? Can you see that? You could kill somebody with this thing. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> 11 pounds of chocolate. What? <laughs> yes, my friends, that was part of my anniversary present. Because I want to make some chocolate-covered strawberries to sell at the craft sales. And so it has to last her all year. <laughs> okay. It might last me half a year or something. Not if I do a craft sale. If I do craft sales, obviously I'm going to use more. But um, that thing is $90 regularly. So for those of you who are like, oh my god, I have to get one. Be prepared to spend 90 bucks. It's worth it, though. It's Calibo Premium Chocolate. It's so good. There's nothing like it. And what else? We it's ordered yummy. We ordered oh. from Magic Oven. Do you have the receipt? Are you going to show the receipt? Do or I have the receipt? Them? I think it was on the freezer. I don't know. Okay. Let me just tell you what we got first. We got two 16-inch pizzas. Okay. I got on mine caramelized onions, organic tofu, rosemary sweet potatoes, barbecue sauce, and day of cheese. Rice crust, so it was gluten free, and the day of cheese is vegan, so it was a vegan gluten free pizza. Did you say barbecue sauce? Yeah. Okay. Tell them what you got on yours. I got the barbecue sauce as well. It was really, really good. And then garlic rubbed spinach, mushrooms, chicken, mozzarella, and I also got the caramelized onions. So unbelievably good. I also got Greek fries. And it came with this really, really uh, good creamy garlic dip. Not like your typical uh, pizza pizza kind of uh, garlic dip. It was really good. You could tell that it was freshly made. And um, then we each got dessert. I got gluten free vegan chocolate layered cake. Which I didn't get to try. No, I was gone. Um, and <laughs> I got vanilla hazelnut cappuccino cheesecake. Which, by the way, smelled like walnuts. heavens. It was so good. But say. it was really rich. I couldn't eat it all in one sitting. I ate mine. Yeah, no doubt. 
And then we got Santa Cruz organic drinks. For three bucks. Wait, a can. no, no, we can't tell them the whole thing yet. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, okay, with three bucks a can, we'll tell you that part. And then when we when we went to the big carrot yesterday, how much was it there? Mm -hmm. Ninety nine cents a can. That was kind of freaky. Talk about uh, market pricing. I got root beer, and Kevin got raspberry lemonade. The root beer wasn't. It was. I don't think I'll buy it again because I'm not they used to it. Lemon juice as a sweetener. No, not as a sweetener, as a tanginess, because I use organic cane juice as a sweetener. Uh, I didn't get to try it, so I can't um, give you my input. No, because he had meat lips. <laughs> Normally, she's really good, and she'll save me some. Yeah. But not this not time. Not this time. Oh, yeah, this juice I had honey tangerine, which is not honey with tangerines. It's just those little tiny tangerines that are called honey tangerines because they're so sweet. It was really good. Yeah, I love to taste that. She saved me a bit of that, yeah. A mouthful, maybe. A swish, at least. A swish. <laughs> A swig. A swig. A swish. No, like a, uh, a swish. Okay, and um, what else? My mommy's coming to visit tomorrow. Woo -woo. So I really don't know if she'll let us film her or anything, but we're going we're gonna to try. So hear that? That's my soup pot boiling over with the stock in it. Um, so we are about to watch a movie. Karen um, took Marina to Canadian Tire. So... I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys tomorrow because somebody, uh, Reb64, was commenting on my duct tape stuff and saying how great it was and asked me if I'm still crocheting. Yes, I'm still crocheting too. I don't crochet as much. Not nearly as much. But what I do is when we're watching a movie, <coughs> bless you. Thank you. I can't sit still. I don't know if you other crafters have the same thing. I think I've said this before. I'm like totally addicted to crafting. So if I'm sitting idle, I get like really antsy and like freak out and then have to grab a crochet hook and crochet. So rarely do I. <laughs> rarely <laughs> do I um, sit and do nothing. It's kind of frustrating, but um, at least it makes me some money because I made like in the last couple of days I've made like 20 dishcloths. So I'll show those tomorrow, and I've made some special hats for a special somebody that we're gonna send out. So I will show you those. All right, everybody, that's it for today. We love you. Share a smile. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>